Okay, so now I have, as you know, I have not recorded in a while. And because of that, um, I have three questions of the day. So I have to get caught up on those. Give me a minute here. But yeah, it's been a crazy, crazy... I've been basically just trying to get, you know, through this work week, um, having different hours and all that. So, question number one, do you like escaping reality? Absolutely. <laughs> Who doesn't? Uh, and by the way, uh, for those who say, like, well, I've never tried to escape from reality. I don't know what you're talking about. It's like, dude... Anytime that you turn on, uh, anytime you watch a TV show or watch a movie or uh, play a video game or anything like that, you're kind of escaping reality. So yeah, I I like escaping reality. I like watching TV programs when I come home or a movie just to sit down and relax and you know. Or and every now and then playing a video game. It's just fun and relaxing and yeah, I have no problem in escaping from reality. I don't I can't imagine you know especially with movies, I mean it's so easy to escape reality when you're watching a movie and just get wrapped up in what you're watching. Um so yeah. In fact, I'll be escaping from reality this Saturday when I go to watch the new Ghostbusters. I'm hoping uh, it's going to be really, really good. I wasn't, I was, uh, I wasn't disappointed in the last movie at all. So I'm, um, I'm hoping this one lives up to just the hype of the last one. I think it will. And okay, so my next question: What is the thing you are used to being afraid to? Oh, I'm sorry. I skipped one. That was today's question. So let me go back and I'll get to that one. Uh, what do you tell yourself when you're feeling down? Um, I don't really feel down too often. At times when I'm mad. Um, when I'm feeling down, I guess I just say like this too shall pass. It's not... It's just like any other feeling or whatever. It's, you know, kind of like having a bad day. It's not going to last forever. Bad days usually last about 24 hours and then they're gone. Uh, when you're feeling down, you know that feeling. At least, I'm not saying that's going to work for everyone. Because if you are if you suffer from depression, that's totally different. That's Feeling down is one thing. Being depressed is different. I think I've suffer from depression maybe once in my life and it was a long long time ago where it lasted maybe a couple of days but I'd have to say with all honesty that yeah I mean but this is what I do when I feel down I mean depress like I said in all honesty depression that's that's totally different I I don't I, you know, in that regard, I think you'd have to see someone, talk to someone, you know, do whatever you have to do to get through it, basically. But for feeling down, it's yeah, basically just tell myself that, that this too shall pass. It's not going to last forever. Um, things will get better. When you lose someone, of course, grievance, that, that can take you down. Um, you just kind of remind yourself there that they're in a better place and, and you go forward. You know, like, okay, well, this is the end for now, but it's not the end, you know, because of what I believe in. I don't believe that, you know, this is the last time I'll ever see them, you know, and then, of course... Not to sound cheesy, but kind of like that li the Lion King where he says, well, they tells uh, the monkey, I forgot, the mo Rofinky, he tells Simba that his dad lives in him. Um, so, 
that's where I believe too is people that you lose sometime that that you lose along the way part of them still lives in you so as you move forward so they're never truly forgotten um and then my so that's what I do for that and then last question of the day is the what is the one thing you used to be afraid to tell people? Um, I kind of changed it because of, it is asking what do I am I afraid to tell people? I'm like, well, if I'm afraid to tell people, why would I tell it to everyone on social media? I mean, YouTube is still social media, so why would I? So I'm like, no, 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 no. But something I used to tell, uh, be afraid to tell people. Um, I think I used to be afraid to tell people that I was really into the paranormal, or that I believed in ghosts. I think that was a that way way back, like when I was in high school. It wasn't really something that you. I mean, it's something you might believe in, but you didn't really tell everyone necessarily. It wasn't really. Now it's more of a big thing ever since Go uh, Ghost Hunters came out um, on television. Now it's become a, a more acceptable, more broad thing. It's I wouldn't say acceptable. It's just that now it's more in the forefront. So now it's easier just to say, like, yes, I believe in ghosts too. And I'm really into the paranormal. And I go out in investigations too every now and then. And I wish I went out on more, but I just don't know where else to go at the moment. I want to go to different local sites and I want to check out different, uh, you know, if people around here have problems with the paranormal. I have to go out and investigate them and try to help them any way I can. I don't really want to do it for the publicity of it. I just, I, I was never into that part of the aspect. I don't want to become famous necessarily for it. I just want to help people. That's my, my goal. It's not to just say, like, okay, I think I found something and then post it all over social media and say, hey, I found this. Although there are times when I have done where I have posted stuff like that on social media, but it's more of to get their opinion. Like, what do you think? Is this what I think it is or is it something else? So, but again, I, I, I'm more into to try to help people than I am to try to become famous or say, like, oh, look what I caught. I mean, don't get me wrong. If I do catch something like that and and it does happen to make people more on the believing side than on the skeptic side, then I'm, I'm okay with that. But at the same time, you know, that's not why I'm getting into it. So there, that's my stuff. Um, but yeah, that's, that's one thing I can say that I used to be afraid to tell people just because I didn't really want to be made fun of or whatever. So I just kind of let that, you know, but now that it's been more, I guess, more socially acceptable. And now that's more in the forefront, I'm not afraid to come out and say, you know what? Yeah, I'm into the paranormal. I've got this stuff. You all want to investigate. Let's go out and investigate. I have no problem in that. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, and I think that is all I have for you guys. So I will catch you guys on the next video. Um, so have a good one. Peace out. And I'll see you all later. Bye.